The wait for election results in Africa's biggest democracy continues. So far, only a few of the 36 states have officially declared results, leading to growing frustration. We are afraid, yeah, because of the way they are trying to do the result. But we never hear the result for now, and we are still waiting for the result. The Electoral Commission has apologised for the delay, citing technical issues. Nigeria has over 176,000 polling units. In most of them, voting passed without incident. However, there were some reports of delays, logistical challenges and even attacks. There's a serious fight going on here. In this voting centre in Lagos, 15 men attacked party agents, forcing soldiers to intervene. These young boys, we don't know the outcome they enter this territory. They just came and start coming out with dagger and eating everybody that are Labour Party agents. The election pits former Lagos governor Bola Tinubu of the ruling All Progressives Congress against former Vice President Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party. But for the first time since Nigeria transitioned to democracy 24 years ago, the two-party system is being challenged by Peter Obi from the lesser-known Labour Party. He's particularly popular among younger voters. Whoever does win will not have an easy job. Nigeria is grappling with an economic crisis, widespread insecurity and endemic corruption, making this the most consequential election in the country's history.